Well, so let's break out of just, uh, just technology for a moment because I actually don't believe that technology is all that important uh, in the scheme of things. I think it's one, one tool of many to accomplish the goals of the museum. And let's, uh, let me narrow it down a little bit and talk just about art museums for a second. Um, so one of the things that I find incredibly exciting about op, uh, art museums in their community is that we are, we are losing the, our culture is losing the places in which we can have honest and open discourse about the issues of our day. Um, the political systems in so many of our countries are broken and the, the forms of debate there are driven by um, power and money more than ideas in, in many circumstances. Uh, our, our educational systems are driven by checking curricular boxes uh, to, to justify themselves for funding from local governments. Um, the media is completely distorting the honest conversations that real people want to have at any particular point in time. And so museums stand at this place where we have, we have collected and cataloged the creative endeavor of human history over thousands of years, and there is, there is passion and idealism contained there that is not bound by, by class, uh, or doesn't have to be bound by class. So it's a great opportunity to promote critical dialogue between people who are incredibly diverse, uh, culturally, racially, economically, educationally, and to expose each other to a set of ideas that can't really happen in any other place. So it's incredibly exciting to me to think about the role that museums could play in establishing that kind of dialogue and especially the way in which artists can provoke that. This, they've always done it um, and museums are uh, in a space now kind of, and it is partially due to technology. Um, I think that the, the internet and social media landscape has given our, our popular culture an expectation that uh, critical conversation is possible. Um, and that's beginning to transition into the physical hierarchy of museums. But there is still a there's still a, a resistance and a protectionism there that kind of hedges against really opening the doors and really welcoming that kind of diverse set of opinions. Um, so it will be very interesting for museums to redefine their role as creators of authoritative information without devaluing the personal interpretation of an aesthetic experience that comes along with that. So could you plug both the factual and contextual information up against my personal takeaway and set of opinions? That is incredibly powerful. It's very easy to live a life of very surfacey contemplation uh, where you'll just go from one activity to the next in your life, I think that's very easy to fall into that trap. And it's very, it's more, relatively more difficult to get under the surface in a contemplative way, um, individually and also corporately um, with other people. So it, it is, our, our culture values personal introspection um, there are less and less places to have honest dialogue um, around issues that are m more than just what are you working on today, how many widgets did you sell last month. Um, so I think artists can, can trigger that, that conversation. They can catalyze people to think differently about, about their place in the world, about their own beliefs 
uh, that they can challenge us to really delve deeper into the issues that really matter and, and potentially to do that in discussion with other people. So that's, that's really what I care about. Mm -hmm. So if we can make technology do that, well, I'll be, I'll be very happy. <laughs>